So I'm switching from slow chess to hyper aggressive chess. Let's try and win this tournament. I'm late joining. I think this is an hour long tournament. Yeah, 57 minutes. I've joined 12 minutes late. Some people have 11 points. I'll try and be strategic with berserking. Probably anyone rated below 2,000 I'll berserk against. Uh, queen e2 is very typical, reinforcing the pawn. Bishop g4, I'll play knight f3. So if d4, even though it looks aggressive gaining space, allows for knight a4, and then I can play very positionally. Oh, my watch just told me I broke my activity goal for the day. Oh, it just told me that I, I achieved my stand goal. That's so weird. I've been sitting the whole time, I think. Okay, let's castle. King. Yeah, just getting off the diagonal. Smelling some ideas of taking, but... Let's be solid. D3. Oh, oh yeah! I meant to play E5. E5 was such an easy move. Happy new okay, I can play E5 here. Happy 15th subversary to me. <laughs> I couldn't help myself from winning Connect 4. It's such a weird mouse slip. I'll take with Rook. Oh, thank you, PT player. Happy New Year. And subversary. Opponent wants to smother mate me. That's not going to happen. Many things defending. This knight is weirdly stuck. Knight here, I'll take with bishop. Knight here, probably bishop g5. A leader has 16 points. Uh, that's a good move. Take with no. If I took with queen or rook, there is knight f2. Okay, now knight f6, bishop g5, queen b2. So it looks a little bit slow, but rook b1. Just covering the b pawn. Want to activate the bishop. And now I want to take, play this, this, and mate. D6 was hanging for a moment. Black is giving me some mercy. If I was in France and my opponent gave me mercy, I would say mercy. Okay, so the queen and knight are attacked. The queen's still attacked, and now tied down to defending the knight. Ooh, oh no, black's queen. Where's my mate? Wait a minute, this is more efficient. Okay, got the first one down. Trying to break into the top 100. Yeah, so John Bartholomew also streaming. Maybe also late joined. Not seeing him in the top 50. Oh, top, okay, top 41. I'll berserk again. Playing, ooh. Stafford Gambit time? Stafford Gambit time. Let's punish the Stafford. No mercy. So H4 is a, or H5 is a move that I like to play. Um, there is an interesting move, knight g4 here, takes and queen h4. But these two moves are the, the main options. I'll play c3. Play like the main refutation line. Bishop g4. Never seen this move before. I th think I can just get away with expanding. It's one of the issues with the Stafford is sometimes 
and waking at the Immaculate Pawn Center. It's hard for Black to do much. Of course, Black wants to create chaos. Now I can play Bishop G5. Yeah, recently I've been less uh, lenient with dealing with the Stafford. Just trying to punish it to the maximum. There is still potential for connect a checkmate. Let's keep my pawns. Also, no reason to take the knight because it is pinned. Trying to trap my bishop. Or trap, uh, not my bishop. Soon to be my bishop. Uh -huh. Okay, let's... Actually, let's win the bishop first. Happy New Year, is this going to happen? Everyone. Takes and mate? Ah, it's not happening. But mate is likely coming very soon. Or is it? Yeah, everything's crumbling for black. Whoa, it's good Happy news, New everyone. From Sweden. Happy New Year. Thanks so much. 5,000 bits. Where's my mate? Oh, there's a funny line. Okay, just for those in Sweden. Oh no, my queen. Ah, black doesn't even take my queen. Ah. Uh, so the the funny line was takes and then bishop a6. This isn't isn't quite mates, but after queen b7, I I would probably just take and okay, soon to be mates. Oh, a new game started. Playing Kek Mikas. Uh, let's berserk. Oh, no, that's... Ah, I should not have berserked. Okay, but now I have to deal with my... My life decisions. Now, opponent's rated 23-25. I'm giving some slight time odds. They're taking time in the opening. Yeah, so main line is knight of three here, here, and then hey, Eric, play an offbeat move f5. Happy New Year! Everything will get better. Just hold on tight. Yeah, let's hold on tight. Try and avoid flagging. Can I take this? I think I can. Because knight c3, there's bishop b4. I mean, knight is pinned, but. Yeah, this looks pretty stable. Hey, happy new year to Ipshi. Yeah, it's already way past midnight in Germany. I take this. Hey, it's a raid. It's Fion Fioncetta. Happy new year. Thanks for the raid. Shout out to Fiona. Hope you're doing well. If you're just joining, I, I'm playing the Hourly Blitz Arena. I late joined the tournament. I'm trying to win it. I berserked this game kind of on accident. By preventing Knight B5. Yeah, Happy New Year to Fiona. I don't think I saw Fiona in 2021. At least in real life. But maybe at some point we'll see each other in 2022. Okay, so I'm down about a minute. Opponent is wanting to flag me. I have the bishop pair, have the open files. Play this move. Redevelop the bishop to b7. Wow. Play this move. I mean, the hope is takes, takes, remove the knight, and then win the bishop. Easier said than done. Rook d1. I'm yeah, not sure if that works, actually. After rook d1, takes, 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 takes. Then c7 is weak. And there's one check, two check, but b3 kills all my fun. So I'm probably better off after rook d1 playing bishop b6. 
Uh, same thing here, I think. That's very similar. And now rook hd1, we probably trade. Opponent. Opponent blunder? Not quite. Knight d5 is really annoying. King f8. I wanted to take the bishop at 97. Wasn't good for me. At least we're getting into some time scramble situation. Opponent's getting low on time. Oh no, my pawn. Okay, rookie three. So we're invading the home of white. And your rook g2. Active rook versus passive rook. My pawn should be on dark squares. Along with my king, probably. Covering the infiltration squares. Check. I think I'm almost winning a pawn. Whoa. What was this move? I'm almost mating. I was fighting mate in one. I don't think white can... Oh, white has this move. Maybe white's somehow defending. Okay, <laughs> I should win that. Hey, I passed Finns. Yeah, Finns is John Bartholomew, also streaming. 11 tournament points. Leader has 29, man. Will you be in Berlin in January? Uh, no, I won't. But I'll likely be in London and then Gibraltar. Okay, opponent also berserking. Yeah, I really need to berserk almost every game to catch up. Yeah, playing a close Sicilian. Pretty typical setup so far. H5, I'll play H3. And preventing any knight g4 shenanigans. Some idea c3 at some point. The c4 is also an idea. So black's not casting queenside. And question how to get to the king. Uh, d4. I think I'll play king h2 first. Trying to make some improvements. I'm allowing this and this. It's hard to really crack the position. Challenge the b file. Wow, okay. Casting, I think, was a big mistake. It allows for the opening of the king side. Shift over. Now it's all about attacking. F5 ideas. Okay, gonna have some fun here. These pieces aren't really defending the king. I have f6. Oh, there's almost a funny mate. King g3. It involves oh no my queen. I need to unleash the rook. I'm threatening queen h8 now. Hey, oh no my queen. So this comes with double check. King has to move back and then I mate. 
Okay, that was a feel good finish. Moving on, top 10. And this player has 37 points. That's crazy. Not even berserking every game. Okay, playing Wild Strawberry. Uh, maybe two Knights. Knights Tango. Okay, I'll play D5. It'd be hard to play aggressively against uh, this opening. At least from very early on. So, I'm playing my main thing. No gambits here. Uh, Bishop F4, let's play this move. A6 is not a main line. Uh, but it has the idea of developing nicely on the queen side. <clears throat> I think maybe white could have played c5 there. Play c5 first. Um, this is a typical structure for black against the queen's gambit. Hey, it's Wander. Thanks for the raid. Okay, now I definitely have to do Babel Royale. For those that don't know Wander, a prolific Scrabble streamer. One of the best Scrabble players in the world. And in our hearts. Hope you had a good stream. Happy New Year. Shout out to Wander15. Yeah, I was saying earlier that I still don't fully know the rules of the game. But it looks really fun. I love the concept of combining like a word game and battle royale. Anyway, for those just joining, I'm uh, about midway through the hourly Blitz Arena. I did late join this tournament. I'm trying to win it. It's going to be tough, though. Eighth place, leaders really pulling away from everyone. Just got to take one game at a time. I think queen a8, creating the battery. Always draw back to f8 if I need to. Why is just going for trades? I mean, I'm winning a pawn. I might as well do this, this a6 might be weak in the end. Okay, so I win this. You're hitting the bishop. I have some back rank issues, probably have to play g5. That's a good move. I have this hitting b2. It doesn't feel so clear. Okay, so I make Luft. I just want to simplify a bit. 19 seconds. So the pawn goes to a7, and my king has to ensure it's not checkable from the rook. Okay, so here we trade. So this actually transforms the position a lot. The C pawn's gonna run. Get behind it. I think I can win it now. Might see like rook h8 at some point. Even that. Oh no! Only missed uh, a win.
Ah! I just had to make one more move. Oh. Good game. That's what I got for berserking. 0 0.04. Okay. Ah. I'll turn on the heart rate monitor, how about? That's so sad. I was so close, too. Okay, let's take all my anger out against this opponent. By not hanging a knight. I think I'll play bishop d2, threatening this. There's bishop c5. Waiting for g6 so I can access h6. There we go. I'll play this move. Okay, we have a funny position. My knight is fiend cathode on g7. Well, where's my win, though? g5? g5 just traps my pieces. Maybe this move. Hitting the knight. If I take back. So g5 I sack. Queen f3 incoming. Bishop g4, I just take it. It's still a little bit murky, but I think rook g7, I take on f6, king f8, bishop h6. And there's no good way to defend f6. Just no way possible. I could probably pre move this if I want. But I'm not sure whether to take next with queen or bishop. That's really close to mate. Get the bishop ready. Here we go. Okay, no time to waste. I think I still have a little bit of hope. But wow, the, the leader has 50 tournament points. That's insane. I just need to win games super, super quickly. It shouldn't be too difficult to catch up to second. Okay, playing Blackmore Deemer. Um, actually going for the Rider Gambit. Okay, this is a free pawn, I believe. Bishop c8, I don't think was great, or bishop g4 wasn't great. Maybe knight b5. This is looking very appetizing. Okay, so this one's a queen. If G, never mind. Okay, we'll pin the knight. Some idea of this and this. Or even just taking. Simplifying down. I win the knight. So I'm up a full queen and a pawn. And now the exchange. And now another pawn. Okay, that was pleasant. Black Mardemer, Rider Gambit. It pays off. Trying to break back into the 2600 club too. Like this person who beat me earlier, or no. I won earlier, but okay, double berserking. Hello. Hello. Super sugar. 
That was a sweet resub. Okay, I just want a castle and then attack. It's F3. F3 might be possible. F3 is a really good move. Please play it. <laughs> F3 is actually a really bad move because Queen H4. Uh, oh no, my bishop! Man, opponent, I can't reverse stream snipe. They see through my plans. I'll go for F5. Oh, Finns and I are tied. 22 points apiece. Yeah, it's a weird position because there's four attackers. Ooh, let's play this move. Yeah, I might be losing a pawn. Maybe there's comp. Other rook will come in. G3. Or F3, I was thinking about sagging on G3. So now the bishop's pinned in two directions. Takes. How to do this? C5. Okay, idea to take in bishop F3. Ah, good move. Okay, I'll try and win the old-fashioned way. Using the clock as a weapon. Opponent's fighting. Where's a win? Very clever. Okay, won the game. Good fight for my opponent, though. No time to waste. Playing player in third place. Gotta try it. Oh, my knight! Oh, no. Oh, no. It's been a while since I've tried this one. Bishop g5. I think it's okay. My knight's still hanging. Please take it. And now I take. Queen b6. Getting some comp. Because these two pawns are attacked now. It's actually turning into a reasonable type of gambit. F6 first. Now I can take. Oh, first place still has 50 points. That's a good sign. In this first idea G5 H4. Ninety five. Hey, it's Tristan buying merch. Thanks so much. Shout out to Talmage Middle School Chess Club. Oh, hey. Hey, nice. Shout out to Talmage Middle School Chess Club. Let me trap the bishop. Actually, let's just take and get the bishop pair. I love your London videos. Oh, Do nice to hear. Do you recommend here. going queen b3 if opponent moves c8 bishop early? I can often catch yes. opponents off guard this way. Yeah, that's a general rule. The b pawns undefended, then queen b3 can be a useful idea. Okay, threatening to trap the bishop. I'm gonna just go for the kingside attack. 
And rook h7. That's a good move. F5. Yeah, losing my, my bishop pair. Might be winning the pawn, though. I'm going to play h3. Not quite winning d3 because there's rook c1. Okay, at least I have c4. I want to play this. Play this move. Might be tricky to win. The sack exchange. Should be winning with 16 seconds. Got the king to d4, restricting white's king. Yeah, it's. I think it's still winning though. The rook doesn't have time to take the pawn, and I have bishop c4. Is a mate? There is a mate. Okay. That was a close one. No time to waste. Oh, this person lost a game. Oh, but they're still playing. Okay, 32 points, 13 minutes left. On another berserk streak. Playing Alexander Morozevich. A scary name. Okay, I'm going to play a setup with queenside castling. It's one of the more aggressive ways to play this position. So get the queen, black queen aligned with my rook. There's a d3. Knight c6 or knight a6 I play. Never mind. Uh, play h4. Yeah, just going all out for the attack here. YOLO. Thinking D5 at some point. I have to get rid of this knight somehow. Okay, save the bishop. I want to play A3 next. And this could backfire. I'm playing very kind of risky chess. I'm living on the edge. So assuming the knight moves, I take on d5. A tricky position. The dream is to... Remove the knight, play bishop g8, and mate. I, th I really wanted to sack, but I think it was too risky. In g4 here. Allowing knight b3. Also that move. And now at least the g-file's open. I don't mind queen g4. A knight's been attacked by the pawn for a long time. I miss bishop f5. Oh, bishop f5, there's knight b3. Also miss just a free knight, but okay, the queen's attacked. Knight will be free next move. So now if king takes bishop, I discover fork. If takes... Oh, I didn't see that move. Uh, let's just continue. Double rooks. That was in kind of a messy game. I feel like I'm just trying to throw mud at the opponent. We need four hitting the bishop and maybe this rook. Threatening this to win the rook. One in defense. Let's play king c2.
Yeah, my tactics don't work here. Wanna take here. This is really, really risky. King is experiencing the world. I'm getting takes, takes, etc. There's queen d5, but then takes, takes. Okay, this is happening. Okay, now it looks pretty good because I'm threatening maiden one. There's rook g7, but now it should be winning. All the risks kind of paid off. I think I made a lot of blunders this game, though. A leader still has 50 points. Wow. Yeah, take on f7. And that's mate. Okay, third place. Berserk playing the strawberry again, who beat me earlier. Ah, this game from earlier came down to the wire. Opponent didn't berserk back. Try and get revenge. Happy New Year to Hyperflu and RMT. This line. Did I see a Nagmanson? Might see a Nagmanson. Nagmanson might take on c3 and play d5. This is also playable. Queen d7 is the move for some reason. It should be 7. Wait, I think I can take with queen. Looks weird, but have to be courageous sometimes. Also want to develop my bishop. Maybe this move. It's also queen h4. Rook d8 maybe. I'm trying to improve with tempo. Yeah, I didn't want to play this and I'm running to knight c5. Rook d1 would be a really nice gift. Not going to happen because there's too many ways for me to win material. If knight f6, I just take it. I might be threatening to take, take, and rook d2. Then there's rook c4, c6. Objectively, okay, let's just go into this. King f8 first. Rookie 2 is a safe move. Playing this for a win now. It's going to be hard to play for a win, though. Let's start working on the edges. Interesting. Now my king has an entry point. Rook's tied down to the b-pawn. I allowed rook d7, but I have rook c5. Okay, preventing rook d7 now. It's still, like, objectively just equal. G4 is kind of a risk from white. Wow. Go play B5. Trying to damage the structure. I'm having flashbacks from the last time I played Wild Strawberry. Might be a very venomous strawberry. Uh, E3 maybe. A3 is too weakening. C6. Kind of trapping in my own rook. I didn't know what else to do. So rook D7, I play king E8. Oh no. I think white missed a cool idea. 
Now I'm okay still. Check. Yeah, I went upon. I kind of blundered there. Happy New Year from Europe. Oh, thank you. Happy New Year to Europe. Okay, I'm gonna win this pawn. Let's go, okay. Sweet, sweet revenge. So 42 points. The leader is losing all their games. I need to win two games in four minutes to have any chance. It's possible, I think. I need a game to start immediately. <gasps> oh, the heart rate. The heart rate on. Browser source. Hey, let's berserk. Okay. No time to turn turn the heart rate on. I don't know why I'm playing the London. Okay, let's play H4, H5. Okay. Trying to play as aggressively as possible here. Apart from playing the London opening. You target G6, Queen C2. I just want to take on G6. If knight f8, I take. Okay, let's take here. Threatening to take and then queen g6. Check. Rook is now hanging. Let's go! Okay. One more game. Come on. I have to berserk. Another choice. One's not berserking back. Okay, let's play knight's tango. Okay, I have to play in some King's Indian style, like d6, e5. I know it looks passive, but... Okay, e5 probably. Like d4, knight, e5. h5. I hang a pawn. Takes, takes. Might be okay. I should play this move at some point. And there might be even knight d3 ideas. Hey, okay. And this move. Of knight b1. Need this move. Okay, play a6. I just gotta go all out. What else to do? This is super, super risky. I'm trying to win the tournament. Opponent took with bishop. Unexpected. And check and... And knight f3 there. I should have played knight f3. Still threatening knight f3. Really close to winning. Oh, I missed. I still have it. Not meeting though. Now the rook is hanging. Oh, it's so close. Oh, this is completely winning now. 
Oh no, is it? I think it is. Oh no, I hung a queen! Ah! I'm just losing now. And there goes my tournament. Oh, I'm not gonna win this game. That's so sad. Please blunder meat. Oh, my beautiful position. Oh, I was so close to. I have 18 seconds left and no queen. What to do? So close. I got so close to first. I missed you, XOXO. Oh, XOXO. Missed you too. Toxic banana party. What to do? Oh, my king. Did I miss Force Maiden in this game? I felt really, really close. Ah, I have knight d4. I panicked. I have knight d4 here. Knight d4 is just winning. Happy New Year from Yorkshire. Knight also, d4 is Force Maiden 4 for black. Wow. Because uh, the threats are too strong. Like, I saw this and this, but knight d4 is supported by the pawn. I thought I could maybe survive, but then I got forked. Did you see John's Rosen Trap? Should I try a Rosen Trap? Ah. Uh, I'm going to try to set it up. Ah, oh, Rook B3. Ah. <laughs> oh, I'm so worked. proud. Eric, Good job, John. 